Still on his own two feet, Canada's Brent Butt. Hello, folks. Thank you very much for that lovely uh, round of applause. It's great to be back in Montreal. I haven't been here in a while. I got uh, propositioned by a hooker last night. That freaked me out. I've never had that happen before. I was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I, I never had that before. Because I grew up in a small town, and you just, you don't get hookers in a small town. Just, it wouldn't work, you know? Small town hooker. You know, she'd be out in the curb there. Uh, hey, big boy, you want a date? No? All right, well, say hi to Sheila for me. <laughs> Uh, I was watching some TV today, watching pro wrestling on TV. Oh, man, alive. I cannot get enough of the pro wrestling. Do you love it? I cannot get enough of it. I often wonder if those moves you see in pro wrestling would work in a real fight. You think? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try some of those moves. If I ever get into another fight, you know what I'm going to do? Right off the bat, very first thing, fly in head scissors. <laughs> right off the bat. Nobody expects the fly in head scissors. <laughs> I don't care how tough you are. You... You see my crotch coming at you at eye level. Huh? It's gonna put you off your game for a second. I love the wrestling. Not just the pro wrestling, I like all the wrestling. Like the Olympic style, the Greco-Roman wrestling. You know the Greeks used to wrestle in the nude. Which they still would if you let them. I'm just saying. That, uh, huh? Man, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Wrestling bare naked? Wouldn't you be a little self-conscious? Like today, when you see guys wrestling, right? This is a very popular starting stance for the match. I bet this wasn't all that popular when everybody was just kind of dangling, you know? <laughs> Probably a lot more of this type of thing. <laughs> Quit grabbing. Yeah, I don't know if you ever saw the footage of this. I love this. To, to me, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened on the planet. Did you see this? Did you see when uh, Fabio, some of you are ahead of me, did you see when Fabio got hit in the face by a goose while he was riding a roller coaster? Is that the, that's the weirdest damn thing that's ever happened. You can't even have those three things in a story without it being kind of weird. A roller coaster and a goose and Fabio, what the hell's going on? It's bizarre to see. Oh, you see the aftermath, right, after it happens. The ride comes slow into a stop. And uh, I wonder, too, if the ride came to a stop right away. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it happened on the far end of the track. The guy who's running the ride's not even paying attention. He's leaning over the railing, hitting on a couple local chicks. Yeah, I travel around with the carnival. You know, I could hook you up with a tilt-a-whirl or whatever you need, baby. <laughs> Meanwhile, poor Fabio's got to do nine laps with a face full of goose guts. <laughs> Please stop the ride. Oh, please, I'm Fabio. I have a face full of goose. Poor bastard. Anyway, at some point, the ride comes to a stop there, and there's Fabio. He's right in the front car, and he's not happy. Huh? Sitting right there. He is Crabio in the front row. And uh, there's a woman on either side of him. Honest to God, there is not a speck of goose shrapnel in either one of these women. They're spotless. They're like the double mint twins. There's not a spot on them. And Fabio, holy man, he's a mess. He looks like somebody filled a tube sock with ketchup and beat him for 20 minutes. You know? Horrible mess. He looks like he was making spaghetti in the pressure cooker and hit the wrong knob. <laughs> Smells good. He's a mess. But you gotta ask yourself, how tough is this Fabio guy? Huh? You think you could take a goose in the face at, at 60? <laughs> and just be a little upset about it? Oh, I got some on my blouse. <laughs> I got some goose on my blouse. It'd kill you, man. A goose at 60. I remember one time I took a bee in the forehead <laughs> at about 30 miles an hour. And I thought somebody hit me with a pickaxe. I was done. <laughs> I had a big red welt in my head. I couldn't do basic math for a week. I do. Oh, took a B. At about 30, I better sit down. Never mind a goose. That's got some mass to it, huh? That'd be like, imagine you're in a convertible car doing 60 miles an hour down the road. 
Up ahead in the curb, there's a guy standing there with a 10 pound bag of potatoes. <laughs> you think you just shake that off? Oh, what was that? Well, it was smell like potato. What was that? Take your head off at the Adam's apple. How tough is this Fabio guy? He's had so many facelifts, his skin is like the tensile strength of an airliner windshield now. You know? <laughs> You've got geese and eagles bouncing off his face. <laughs> it's all right, I'm okay. I'm... A flock of owls, everybody behind my face. <laughs> Are you okay? I am Fabio. That's it for me. Thanks a lot, Montreal. We'll see you again tonight. Coming up.